Today we're going to talk about some uh, really fun hospital bills and how incredibly unbelievable they can be. So let's look at a PET scan that I got on the 7th of the third month, 2017. It was a, in theory, the Gallium 68 scan. And this friendly little bill is going to amount to... Well, we got one bill that's going to be marked right here. We got the first one, which is going to be... Oh, okay, 5900 and eight dollars. Okay, that doesn't seem so bad. We're good. Uh, the next one uh, is going to come to a total of eight hundred dollars. Okay, so then we have this next one that we're looking at here. Uh, it is a, another friendly one for an additional eight hundred dollars. That's a that's a friendly one too. Thus far, it doesn't seem like these bills are all that unreasonable, right? Okay, so, oh, we found just one that looks like it's not a really big deal, but, you know, as PET scans go, maybe this is something that's standard in the industry. We are looking at a friendly total of $400,095.50. That is an interesting number. Whenever I first spoke to the person on the phone about that bill, I had to ask them twice. I said, is that $4,000 or is that hundreds of thousands, like nearly a half a million dollars? I have no clue how one PET scan can be valued at $400,000. I don't remember being plated in gold. Did I buy the PET scan? Did I rent it and take it somewhere? How in the world does one scan amount to $400,000. $400,000. That one PET scan was more expensive than two weeks in an IC unit, a surgery where they removed my lung, and four months of chemotherapy. My mind is blown. What do you think is... Is that is four hundred thousand dollars a reasonable amount of money to charge for one scan?